Hey everyone, what's going on? This is Eric and you are looking at my laptop. Alright, that's the end of the video. Just kidding. Now, what's going on here is I've got Windows Movie Maker up and I have another program that I just downloaded. You can download it for free from realtemp.com. And basically it's a simple program that you do not have to install. It kind of just runs on top of Windows. Uh, when you X out of it, it's not running, so you don't have to worry about it using up resources or anything else. It tells you basically what your temperature is in Celsius. You cannot change it to Fahrenheit. Um, it tells you what your your you know i7. What you know, it tells you what your megahertz are. Uh, it's not a bad little program as far as just telling you what your temperature. As far as being accurate goes. I don't have anything to test that to make sure that this is actually accurate what the actual temperature of the CPU is. Now the whole part of this video is basically testing out how this cooling pad is working with my laptop. You know, is it, is it fighting it? Is it working with it? Or is it doing nothing? Okay. Now I've been playing around with this thing for a little while and to me it's like it does a little bit. I want to say right now it's running it's on and I want to try something here now I don't have any video games or, or you know I'm not a gamer so the only program that I have that I know is going to chew up a lot of resources and, and heat up that CPU and make it work is the Windows Movie Maker program I have other programs on here as well um, for playing music and stuff that kind of use a little bit of, of uh, CPU, but not as much as the Windows Movie Maker. Now, I've already loaded up a file, actually, a video in here, which is basically the video of me making the first video of doing the unboxing and kind of showing you guys, excuse me, this uh, cooler. So now I want to kind of check out the performance of this cooler, what it's actually doing. Is it doing anything? Well, let's take a look at it. So right now I have my temperatures are up in Celsius and at the bottom part of it where it shows like 50-50 uh, or whatever, the bottom part of it is basically the leeway that I have before I get into the danger zone of being too hot with this uh, laptop on the CPU. Now my CPU is one physical CPU but it shows as eight separate cores. This program only shows four of them. Okay, now. When you download this program, you have a zip file, and in that zip file is basically all the stuff that makes this program work. Now, there's only a few files that you want uh, to use of this. Now, you have a i7 Turbo GT EXE file, which is a program for this. Then you have a load tester EXE, which tests the load of the CPU, which I'm going to use that too. Uh, Real Temp EXE and real temp gt exe are basically the two that you kind of really want the other ones are just you know one's a little bit of a test the, i don't know what the i7 gt turbo is i haven't really gotten into that far to check it out there isn't really too much as far as settings go on here now if you want to go to settings window pops up and kind of tells you some information you can change colors a little bit let's see if it focuses a little bit better you can change colors of you know certain things, your cores, you can change the colors of the numbers. Uh, uh, let's see, you can set your max, like right now my max is set to 100, which I think 100 uh, Celsius is not very good. And then you can uh, calibrate your idle. Um, not too sure how this works, but from what I'm told, 80 is kind of a uh, anything that's over 80 Celsius is kind of bad, especially for a long period of time. You'll end up overheating your CPU. But every CPU is different. Okay, so 80 degrees Celsius um, could be a bad thing for some CPUs. This one here, what I need to do is I need to look up the tolerances as far as the specs go for temperature on this CPU for this motherboard. So let's get into some of this shit, shit here. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna hit the load test. And I'm gonna select all. It gives me 100% as far as uh, the load that it's gonna do. And right now the fan 
is on. Let's see if I can see the blue light from underneath there. I can see it, but I don't think you guys can. So the fan is on, and let me focus this. Get both of these two windows side by side so you can see this a little bit better. And I'm going to hit load CPU, and we're going to watch the numbers go up. Now this is with the pad turned on, so it is doing its thing. I don't hear the cooling fan spinning up for the laptop. So obviously something is, is keeping something cool. All right, so that's what we're seeing here. And I'm going to shut this off. All right, I just shut off the pad, cooling pad. Still under load. Now the fans are kicking in and dropping down. They speed it up on the laptop itself. And as you heard, the fans speed it up on the laptop. So it's doing a good job keeping itself cool. So if I turn the fans back on. So it's not really I guess you could say it's working. It's not doing too bad of a job, I guess. So let me shut stop that because I don't know how much of a load this is putting on the CPU or if it's going to damage or do anything else. All right. So what you're looking at here is Windows uh, Movie Maker. And I want to run a little bit of a test on here to see, see now that the fans are on, it kind of dropped down. It's not fluctuating a lot like it was before. So what I'm going to do is kind of do a little bit with the movie maker. So there's already a video that is basically running. And as you see, there's not much as far as fluctuation in temperature. So let me go ahead and take this video. This is the part that kind of does a thing with the... Uh, making the CPU do a little work. So now it is basically saving the video and I should see a difference in the temperature of the CPU as it writes the new file. Now this is saving as a high definition file. So you can kind of see the temperature has gone up a little bit not by much and let me shut off these fans and see how much the temperature goes up now so you can kind of see it jumps around maybe a little bit more than what it was within what the fans were so the temperature is going up, I can kind of see it a little bit, in, uh, almost hitting in close to that 80 mark. Computer fans are kicking in now. So you can kind of see the temperature has gone up you know, pushing 80 degrees, hit 81 on one of the cores. So let me turn the fans on. Where's the buttons at? All right, I got those running. It's still writing the file.
So, I don't know. You guys tell me, are one of these pads actually worth using? Well, the outcome of this was maybe kind of interesting. Some of you guys may not care about something like this or not, but I personally do. I want to try to keep my laptop as cool as possible. That way I can do more with it and kind of have a longer lifespan with it. Now, these cooling pads, I don't know if they're, they're any good or not, if they're actually doing anything or causing more harm than anything else. Now, you have fans that are blowing dust or dirt or whatever that's in the air around you straight up into the back of your laptop. That can cause the fins that are on your CPU cooler or your video card cooler uh, to clog up a lot faster. You're basically just blowing it right up in there. Um, but I am noticing with some things that it does keep the laptop cooler. Uh, for instance, you know, putting your hand on top of the laptop, not noticing where the area where the CPU is being very, very hot. Now I do still feel the piping for the CPU uh, so that the temperature is still up on that, but the actual CPU itself is not burning up. Now, without running the fans, you have more fluctuation in temperature. Your cooling fans uh, kick on off a little bit more. Um, with them being on, it seems like the fluctuation is not that bad as much as it being off. So. It could be one of those things where it's a plus, it could be one of those things that's a minus. Now, I could get another program or go into, I believe, BIOS and change the settings for the cooling fans that are on the laptop so the RPMs are up higher all the time. Instead of fluctuating when just needing to be cooled down, they kick in a little bit. Um, but that will weaken the lifespan of the fan itself. Now, if you ever had a, a um, a home PC that sounds like a Hoover vacuum cleaner and the fans are always constantly running and stuff especially if you run your computer 24 7 um, eventually those fans will wear out and they will fail on you I've seen a lot of power supplies where the cooling fans and the power supplies on a PC you know one of the fans or both fans fail at the same time well, now you've got a problem uh, I've seen CPU fans fail I've seen just system case fans fail and you end up replacing them. It doesn't cost that much, but it does add up. And they do last a while, but if you leave the settings alone and just have the machine take care of its own cooling needs, um, those fans will last a lot longer. Now, a little helper, like this pad that's underneath my laptop right now, it's not a bad idea, but again, you know, concerned about plugging up your CPU cooler or uh, you know, making the fans that are on the laptop build up with dust and dirt and debris or whatever. Um, that could be interesting to find out how that's gonna end up in the long run. It could end up to where I'm just blowing dust right up the fucking computer and you know, it, it's gonna plug itself up in a matter of, of a couple of months. So we'll see how that works in the long run. Um, all in all, I think it's actually doing a little bit of something. It is kind of helping the fans uh, keep the CPU cool. Um, I don't notice any heat at all where the uh, hard drives are on this thing. Now, my laptop has an SSD hard drive, plus I do still have a normal platter hard drive. And when I had the problems with this thing, the hard drive area, before I change it to an SSD, it was getting pretty hot where the hard drive was. Now I don't even notice the difference where either hard drive is, the SSD or the plattered one. So apparently, you know, something is going on to where this is keeping itself cool now or this pad is helping. Not a bad thing. It's kind of my little review on this. So you can take it or leave it.